All right, loved ones, I'm back. Had a little technical difficulty in the settings of the league, so uh, it'll be fixed up tomorrow. But as I was telling you how to set your rosters, um, let's go ahead into a new week just until it's fixed tomorrow. But uh, let's see. As you see, I have Marcus Morris on the bench. Marcus Morris needs to be in the game. So what I would do is go ahead and click this player where it says bench and put him in an empty slot. Simple as that. Now you see on this day, I have a game in every single position. If I want to set the roster for the week, I just go to the next day. And I have no games that day. Nobody's playing. Let's try the 22nd. 22nd, I have also almost everybody on my team playing. So, um, I will go ahead and do the same thing. Until this is fixed, we'll come up, come back to this. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. Also on the screen, you can view your uh, stats. I prefer to look at average stats. See, a lot of times when you're trading, people will ask you, well, they'll give you false stats. They'll give you false numbers. They'll give you what a person did just for that one day. But that doesn't mean anything. You want to look at what they're doing for the year. Or you might want to look at what they've been doing for the last seven days. Or you might want to look at their average stats for the last 14 days. That'll give you your most current up-to-date stats. So look at in the last 14 days, you have a guy like LeBron James who has been averaging 40 minutes a game. He's been averaging 13 field goals. Averaging 59% shooting, averaging 85% free throws, and so forth and so on. So you want to always use average. Don't look at stats. Don't look at any projected stats. You don't even have to look at ranking. Uh, Yahoo has their own ranking system, uh, which to me is a bunch of hogwash because sometimes they'll have players like, in fact, let's look at it. They have, uh, let's see, ranked. Here we go on the season. They have LeBron James ranked number one, which sounds about right to me. Actually, we'll get to this when we get to players. I don't want to, I never, I don't use it here. Like I said, I use average stats. That's what you want to look at, average stats. Yeah, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's go to the matchups tab. Matchup tabs tell you who you're playing for this week. Uh, you could also go back. You can go forward so you can see who you're playing next week. You can go back to see who you played the week before. Uh, you can see what everybody else is doing. All from this matchups tab. Okay. Uh, let's see. Also, when, under my team, you can talk mess. You can send. You can uh, do smack talk. Clicking up here. You can chat with whoever you're playing against. Uh, so there's a lot of little different things you can do. But let's get back to the nuts and bolts of playing fantasy. Under the players tab, this is probably the most important tab. This is called the waiver wire. This is your waiver list. This is all the players that are available. It's already defaulted to season average so you can see what they're doing. Um, as you see, since it's a two-day waiver hold, our waiver wire will not be open until the 15th of November. And that's Wednesday. But once this, if there's any players on this waiver wire that you want, you can place a waiver claim for them by adding them to your team. Whenever you add someone to your team, you have to drop somebody in their place. Let's see. I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm not going to actually do it because I don't want this dude. Actually, I might want this dude. He looks like he's been balling. But say if I wanted to drop, uh, say, who would I drop? Hmm. If I had to drop somebody, I would probably drop. I don't know what that was. Man, I don't know who I dropped. My team is hard. <laughs> but, um,. Let's see. Probably Josh Richardson. So I would just click on Josh Richardson. 
It's going to show me all their stats. Once again, I can click on average stats to compare them before I make my decision. Let's see. 88% on. He's playing 32 minutes, 33 minutes. Uh, pretty much, they're pretty close. He's got um, 7.4 field goals made. Oh, he's beating them. He's got 51% uh, field goal. Oh, man, he's smashing uh, Josh Richardson. So I think I would go ahead and pull the trigger. Three pointers made. Oh, he's beating them in every category. It's not even. Okay. So all I had to do was click this and I would add him to my team and drop Richardson. But because there's a waiver on him until the 15th, that means anybody else who has a waiver out on him could have a chance of getting them. Let's go back to the lead. This shows your waiver priority. Okay, see these numbers here? This shows who has the highest waiver. Right now, Devon's bowl team is one. So if Devon's bowl team wanted to get uh, uh, Foreigner, Evan Foreigner, and I also had a waiver claim on Evan Foreigner, because I'm number four, he, Devon would get him. But if I have a waiver claim on Evan Foreigner and uh, Christopher's team, Dallas Demons have a waiver on him, I would get him. And so once you use your waiver claim, you drop to the bottom of the list. Like, for example, so if I use my waiver claim and I get Evan Foreigner, then I will be number 11 on the list, on the waiver priority list. So the next time somebody I'm trying to get somebody over another person, they'll have a better chance of getting them. Okay, let's see. Let's go back to players. This is one of the, the most important areas. You can look at everything on this players list. You can go from uh, all, available, all available players to all players. Season average. So you can see where players actually stack up. You can click on different section and it will put it in that order. So if I wanted to look at rankings, this is the current rankings. LeBron James is ranked number one. Anthony Davis ranked number two. Anthony DeCopoco is um, ranked number three. If I want to see who's getting the most minutes in the league, I click minutes per game and DeMarcus Cousins playing the most minutes. LeBron James playing the second most. If, I want, if I'm looking who has the most points, you guys, I don't want you to get caught up with points because points is only basically two categories. If you got points, you're also getting field goals made. So that's basically two categories. It's important, but it's not the, it's not the only thing that's important. So don't let people trick you with trades by giving you somebody who scored a lot of points but not doing anything else in the other categories okay uh, as you see Antetokounmpo is scoring the most points in the basketball right now uh, for the year you look at things like assists who's getting the most sense 11 assists Chris Paul he only played one game he's on injured so that's false so really James Harden is leading the league in assists Russell Westbrook is number two there's intangibles. There's, the, there's those things that's hard to get. You got to be careful of text because that's a category too. Who's getting you the most text? You know, you got to see Carmelo Anthony, Dwight Howard. Uh, all these cats are getting too many texts. That's a category you want to uh, be careful about. Ejections. Ejections will pretty much ruin your whole week if you get an ejection because not only will you lose an ejection, that's a category, but you also lose in text most likely because you automatically get two texts with every ejection. Okay, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see what else. You can also see your uh, people you're playing against team. Say you want to make a trade. You can go to, uh, say, I'll go to the Kings, Tyler's team. Say I want to get Antetokounmpo, however you say his name. I will click this, Propose Trade. And it pulls up a list of his team. And once again, like I said, you can look at the average stats. And so that way you can properly properly see what's going on. All right. And so I'll say I wanted to give him LeBron James for Antetokounmpo, whatever his name is. I will click that, and then I will click continue. And here we go. Here's the proposed trade. This dude for this dude. Now I said proposal. If I want to evaluate the trade, select different 
uh, players or cancel. This is the last opportunity. Because once you say send proposal, it's sent. And once it's sent and they accept it, that's it. There's no undos, there's no go backs. Okay? Since this is a learning league, I will be monitoring the trades. But once you get to the big boy league and you trade, that's it. There's no going back, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. And best believe, if you get taken advantage of, we will talk about you. Let's see. So, go back to players. Research. Another good section. This is where you can find who's hot. This basically tells you around the world who people are picking up. So, this is a good place to start. You can see everybody's picking up Kyle Anderson. They had 9,369 ads today. Why? You can always click on these little boxes. It's going to tell you an uh, uh, updated story on what's going on with this person. You can see what they've been doing lately, their history, their game log. You can see that this person has 25 uh, minutes today on, on Saturday. He had uh, 13 points. See his average up here, his rank number. What he's been doing Kyle Anderson double double versus the Bucks. Team rebounds, four assists, one steal, and 33 minutes. That's pretty good. So he got his little ball on, so that's why everybody's uh, picking him up. So if you're looking for a shooting guard, small forward, this may be your man. Okay. Let's see. What else? What else? What else? What else? Oh, stat tracker. When the games are going on, the games begin at 4 o'clock Monday through Friday. They range from different times on the weekend. But after 4 o'clock, you can go ahead and click Stat Tracker. And now this is uh, actually live stats. You can see uh, almost play-by-play -play what's going on. You can see all the comparisons. You can see the rankings of the league. You can see everything right here in the Stat Tracker. Uh, it doesn't work too good on cell phones, but if you're on a computer, you can go to the Stat Tracker and follow all the games going on in the NBA. You can see... Um, everything. I don't know why it's taking so long to load, but once it does, oh, here it goes. Bam! This is the stat tracker, and it'll open up default to your team. Um, this is the wrong league, so let me change leagues. Apple Valley Assassins, we're the basketball fanatics. That's who we are. As you see, it's gonna sh showing all the places I'm losing. Shows who's playing. These games are over. Uh, these two games are still going. So I still got uh, Nikola Vukacek balling and I got Aaron Gordon balling. JD, as you see why JD is beating me. I had one, two, three, four, five people playing today. Or he had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hopefully before the end of the week it'll all balance out. Sometimes um, you may play against people that have more players that week than you. And you know so they have an advantage that's just the way it goes um, but I have confidence in my team pretty good team so we'll see what happens by the end of the week but like I was saying you can see the standings so so far as of today I'm in one two three four five six seven eighth place we got the Dallas Demons in first place we got Tyler in second place go back to the scoreboard you can see look at everybody's games Looks like Chris is smashing Davon. They both had a lot of games today. But uh, Chris is smashing them. 11-2. Wow. Okay, but you also can go to the game channel. Come on. Okay, like I was telling you, you can go to the game channel and you can see everything that's going on. This is also a great resource. Say you're looking for a player who's hot before everybody else. You can go here. This is during the game. You can click on whatever game is going on. Let's see what happened in Cleveland and New York. Okay, we know Cleveland beat New York 104 to 101. Do you want to go to box score? I don't even look at all this stuff. This stuff is cool. They give you the points, rebounds, assists, and fouls. But you go to the box score. Box score is going to give you everything you need. As you see, it shows you everybody. All the starters are in bold, and then you can see what each player did. You see, LeBron James had 23 points. Kyle Korver had 21 points. Wayne Wade, 
really those two are the only ones that was really balling. Scroll down a little bit, you see what New York did. You see Tim Hardaway Jr. had 28 points. Tim Hardaway Jr. is right now on the way. He played 44 minutes. That's a dude you want to go get. So you go to players. You see on the wave wire, Tim Hardaway Jr. right here sitting on the wave wire. Somebody need to pick him up. I'm trying to, I'm putting a waiver in on him. So if anybody with a higher waiver than me can get him, go ahead and get him. Let's see. Tim Hardaway Jr. and I'm dropping Josh Richardson. They can have that puck. Bam. I'm going to say claim Tim Hardaway Jr. Just like that. Bam. So we'll see on the 15th if I get him. See, now it says waiver one. That Tim Hardaway Jr. Drop Josh Richardson. So if nobody else puts a waiver claim on him that's higher than me, then I'm going to get him on the 15th. Okay? And that's how that works. Let's go back to the um, stat tracker. Well, you can literally go through all the games that were played. See who's balling. That's how you get ahead of it. It's all about seeing, you know, who's hot. Look at this. Tyreek Evans is balling out 27 points. Who has Tyreek Evans? Probably no one. Let's go to the wave wire. Let's see if anybody has Tyreek Evans. Tyreek Evans. Tyreek. Oh, Mr. Deuce team has Tyreek Evans. He's balling out. Okay. He already has him. This is how it's done. I'm gonna take the, I'm gonna take you guys a little bit further real quick before I end this video. This is something I do. I go to players. And say if I wanted to go to all players, season average. Have them up here by rank. I can literally copy all these players if I want, or just copy individual players if I want. I can just copy one player if I want. And I paste it in my Excel sheet. And this is how I evaluate. What I do is, for example, I'll take my team, this is my other team in the other league, and I'll paste them all in Excel sheet. And it's the same thing as players. And then what I have here is the app, the the uh, the top people in the league. This is what the like the top ten minutes are in the league. And this is what the average of the entire basketball league is. So if I have players that are beneath the average, the league average, I put a red dot on them. If I have players that are above, in like in the top uh, 25, then I put them with a green mark. And I do that for all these categories. And then once I um, go through and change all the colors, if they fall in between, they don't get no color. So since we have 14 categories, that's what this 14 is for. If you have a green mark, I, I add one to it. So that's why this guy has 18, because he has one, two, three, four more. That means he's plus. He's doing above the league, at way above the league average. And if he's negative with the red, that means he's doing below the league average. So that way, and I put it here, so he has five. And then I subtract them. That gives me a 13. So I rank this dude. My personal rank would be a 13. As you see, all my players, he is the best player on my team. He is helping my team the most, and he's not hurting my team. See, because the red are the things that will hurt your team. The greens are the things that would boost your team. And the, and the white is what's the league average so he's not hurting you or he's not helping you too much okay so that's just a different way to evaluate players because you can't just look at players by their names you can't because somebody will go ahead and trade you a Dwayne Wade who is one of the greatest players of all time but yet he's old he only play he doesn't play every week 
every day. If they have a back-to-back -back game, they're going to rest Dwayne Wade. They're saving him for the playoffs. They don't want him to get hurt. So you got to be cautious of things like that. And then in fantasy, you have to look and see what the players are doing. Because then you have guys like, uh, let's see, let's see. You have guys like Hassan Whiteside, who most people might have never heard of, who are ranked 20, who is not hurting you at all, who's a ranked 16. When somebody might want to Russell Westbrook, who's going to hurt you in categories like fouls, like turnovers, like, like blocks, like free throw percentage. And he's only ranked 11. So don't let him fool you. See, that's the whole key is not to let people fool you by pumping up the names or people who, who, are, who only have one good game. You want to get the players that are going to be best for your team. Okay? Let's see. Uh-oh. And hopefully, with what I've given you, I'll, I'll come back and I'll do more of these little videos to try to explain stuff. If you guys have any questions, feel free to call me, feel free to text me, feel free to email me, feel free to send me a message on here. You can do all that from here. If you need to send a message, you can go to chat, you can go to league, and, uh, you know, send messages. Uh, let's see, where's the messages at? Recent transactions. Uh-oh. Uh, if you have players that you're looking to trade, here you go. You can pick a topic and we all can talk about it. You know. In fact, I'll put one up now. I'm about the wave wire. Wire opens. That's Wednesday. Oops. Okay, I submit this and now everybody will get this message. And anybody wants to talk about it, they can reply. Okay, let's see. So let's go back to Lee. Alright. And you see we have email league. Uh, let's see. I don't think there's anything else that's very relevant. Oh, trade deadline. Let's go to settings. Let's go to the league settings. League settings. Oh, by the way, if you guys want anybody's phone numbers, uh, email addresses, anything like that, Facebook, you can go ahead and contact me and I'll send it to you. All the people that I have stuff. Uh, let's see. Uh, where is it at? Where is it at? Where is it at? Okay, playoffs. Playoffs, we are in week five. That's where we're starting in week five. Playoffs begin in week 21, 22, and 23. So we have the first round of playoffs, second round of playoffs, and championship week. This all takes place, as you see. Note, week 23 runs seven days from March 26th to April 1st. That's before the real NBA playoffs. So you got to take that into account. Um, let's see. It shows all our positions and things like that. Trade deadline. Trade deadline is... Let's see. Let's see if they have it on here. Trade. Okay. Trade deadline in March 1st. After the trade deadline, there's no more trading between players, between teams. You can always pick up somebody for, off the waiver wire, but uh, you can't, there won't be any more trading going on. So make sure you get all your trades in before March 1st. Okay. Uh, I think that about wraps it up. Hopefully you guys have a better understanding of what fantasy is all about. We'll have a good time. May the best man wins. Make sure to make some good trades. Don't let somebody molest you and take your booty hole. And that's it. You guys have a good night.